Welcome back, everybody. So I just got home from work, uh, and I found this on my doorstep from Prodigy Disc. This is my street team package. Um, huge thanks to Patricia for sending this out so quickly. Um, and I'm very excited to open it. So saw it on my doorstep, and it was like, grab the camera. I'm recording a video. So I'm going to do an unboxing video. The uh, tape is still sealed. I have not opened it. I have no, I have an idea of what's in here, but I have not seen anything. So let's get to it. All right. Paper. Excellent. So, first things first, what everybody's most excited for, I happen to be wearing one that is exactly the same, but is a Prodigious sweatshirt. This one has the star logo on the front. But this one I'm holding has the team logo on the front. Very excited to be able to wear this. I'll be wearing it in some videos coming up. So, yeah. All right, put that over here. Next up are the bags. So, this is gonna be the tournament bag for the year. It is the Prodigy BP1 V2. And uh, I'm super excited to be able to use this this year. I'm actually going to put it together for you. And we will jump to that in just a second. So I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. So I took a few minutes. Um, I like to think of myself as a pretty savvy person, but... This, uh, the BB-1 V2 is kind of a tricky bag to get together with all the side panels and things like that. So I definitely recommend checking out, um, Will Schustrick did a video of how to properly put these bags together. I just watched the video as I was doing it because I was struggling a little bit. So if you get one of these, definitely check out the video. But this is going to be the tournament bag for the year. Tons of storage. Uh... After I use this for a little bit, I might do a review video of specifically this bag. Um, but let's get into the rest of what is in the box. All right. So, on top of the BP1 V2, I'm not going to put this one together because I already have the one I've been using from the giveaway, the BP2 V2. Um, I actually got my own personal one. Uh, this one does have uh, the team logo on it. So this one does have the team logo on the front uh, and another patch here. It's the dark, it's the charcoal gray rather than the light gray. Um, so this is one that I won in a giveaway, um, and I have some plans for it. Keep your eyes peeled for some events that me and Scans are going to be running this year, uh, because this bag very well might be one of the main prizes of that event series. So keep your eyes peeled, but put this back over here. It's my own Team BP2 V2. Here we got, this is the Rainfly for uh, the bag, the BP1 V2. So, attaches to the back of the bag, covers up all your discs. So, Rainfly, definitely going to be using that this season. We got 
all of the stickers. All the stickers. Got a couple of street team stickers, some just prodigy stickers. This one's pretty cool. It's a shield. Another street team. Topograph. Uh, I think this is what they call the, the topograph, like a topographic map design. It's like that one. And also all of the iron ons. So in our packages, um, we get a ton of iron ons to put on apparel for uh, like logos. So we got some, we get some small ones like this, um, some bigger ones, and then this big proto star. And then uh, you also get a couple team ones. So definitely be putting that on some apparel for this year. Let's check out what's over here. Got a couple uh, Prodigy Disc towels. Um, so one thing I saw in a video of somebody who has one of these bags that I'm also gonna be doing is there's actually a secret pocket under the tongue of the bag. This is where I'm gonna be storing my towels that that just velcros up they're out of the way they don't take up the side bags we got let's see nice prodigy disc lanyard got a couple of hats i went for the the monogram hats um because i already have the powered by prodigy uh like circle patch hat so i went for the monogram ones we got uh, a nice light gray with a black bill. And then this one's a navy blue. Really like both of these. Got a birdie bag. Uh, right now, I personally use whale sacks. Uh, I really like what Tina does with whale sacks. But uh, if it gets really, really bad, um, a birdie bag is always a good thing to have. And we got some apparel as well. So we got some uh, different kinds of t-shirts, uh, the flip tops and the ace tops. So I got some blue, uh, a gray and a black. And then let's get into the discs because that's what everybody wants to see. All right, so we're gonna get into the discs. Um, so let's see what we got here. So first up, first up, Ace Line Discs. Um, so we got the P Model S, which uh, I'm really loving. It's just a nice dead straight point and shoot putter. Uh, so I'm really loving that. So I'm happy to have another one. The M Model OS, um, right now I'm not bagging it. Um, but we are trying out a little bit, and I think that these are going to be great in the rain because of the base grip plastic. And then we have the D Model S, which I'm also really liking. Uh, I'm excited for it to come out in the Duraflex plastic. And let's go for the stock stamp discs. So we get a few discs that are just stock stamp. So I went for a 400A4 um, because I love the A2, but I definitely wanted something that was that flew the same distance but wasn't as overstable. And the A4 has a really interesting profile. It has like uh, it's a very square rim and then has a bead. It's actually really comfortable in the hand. So I've been wanting to try this out. Excited for that. Oh, wait. Oh, I just put my discs in my new bag. Um, we have an H4 V2. I uh, really love the H3 V2. Um, but sometimes when I'm playing in the woods, looking for something that I can kind of flip up 
and get to just hold straight for forever. So excited to try out the H4V2 and 400. And then the X3. Uh, this one's also in 400 plastic. Pretty domey. Um, I mean, I've watched a bunch of people just bomb these. And so I love the D3. So I figured I'll try out the X3, see if I like it better or if it complements it. We got some minis. So I got a, just like a white flag stamp mini. We have a purple Prodigy Street Team Mini. And then uh, this one I'm actually really excited for is the Mini M4. Um, so a normal size mid-range, here's a, your standard size mid-range. Here is the Mini M4. Um, so it's not PDGA legal, but it does fly. I've heard that they fly really well. What I'll probably be using it for is it is uh, a legal mini marker. So if I am out in the fairway and I want to use the same disc, I'm probably going to be having this in my bag to use as my marker because it'll be a little bit easier to see. Um, but also just to have fun and play some catch with my friends. Toss that there. And let's get into my team stamped discs. So right off the bat, we got two beautiful uh, 300 PA3s. Um, these are, they're sneaky beautiful because from the front, just plain white, nice silver stamp on the back. Look at that. Look at all that burst, that bursty, cool swirl. These are awesome. Um, I've been really like, I've been, trying to figure out what putter I'm going to have. I think it's going to be the PA3. Um, but even if these don't end up being my putting putters, I love throwing PA3. So super, super excited for these. And then this one right here is going to be a 300 PA1. Uh, I'm really loving the Seppo PA1, um, the King of the Forest one, but it's very overstable so i'm looking for one that i can kind of beat up to be straight because i love the feel of the pa1 so excited for this blue with the flag stamp my go-to and favorite upshot disc right here the 300 a2 um, this one's kind of like a, a minty color with a blue stamp feels really good it has a little bit of a little bit of dome it's not it's very flat, but it's not like board flat. It's got a tiny bit of dome on, on it, but it feels really good. It almost looks a little, a little spectrum-y. Spectrum plastic is kind of where colors mix together. They create these kind of waves in the disc, so it looks almost a little bit like spectrum right on the rim. That's pretty cool. Then right here, we got 400 GM4. I really love the M4. Um, I used to throw the Fuse a lot from Latitude 64. And when I started throwing Prodigy, it was one of the first discs I looked for a replacement and I found it in the M4. Uh, this one's nice and flat, really bright yellow. So that's gonna be nice and easy to see all year round. Very excited for that. Then we got, let's check out what's this guy. Ah, 400 F5. So you have this kind of uh, yellowish green on the front with a pink stamp, but on the back, we're rocking some orange. Really love the F5 um, for hitting tunnels in the woods. Just nice slight flip ups or release flat and have it just tail off a little bit. Um, but it goes just straight from point A to point B. And then we got a few more. Here we have a 400 H1V2. H1V2 has been uh, 
kind of a staple in my bag for the past few months. Um, I really love the felon, and so I needed uh, to find a replacement for that. And at first, the feel wasn't the same, but then I got used to it, and these things are amazing. So if you've never tried an H1V2, I definitely recommend it for pretty much anybody, because even if you have a slow arm speed, you can find some use for this disc. And lastly, we got two, uh, two more. I thought they were distance drivers, but they're one of them is not. This is an H3V2 in 400. Um, H3V2 is just a longer F5 for me. It just goes so straight um, with a little bit of fade. If I put any angle on it, it just pretty much holds that angle all the way to the ground. And last but not least, my favorite disc so far in the Prodigy lineup is going to be the 400G D2. Um, these things just go so far. They are one of the fl farthest flying distance drivers I've ever thrown for sure. Um, they all have a super comfortable feel for my hand. Um, I tend to like mine a little bit domier. This one, it's got a good amount of dome, but it's a little bit flatter than some of the ones I have. So I'm excited to get out and throw this, but again, bright yellow, easy to find. So that is my uh, street team package that I got for this season. I'm super, super excited to be able to rep and promote Prodigy all season. Um, and a big thank you to uh, Latricia again for getting this package to me so quickly and for uh, scans for all the support that you've given me over the past uh, couple of months as I make my transition. It's been, it's meant the world to me. You're awesome. So huge shout out. Uh, if any of you know Scans, you'll know that he loves Prodigy and he loves the disc golf community. So if you ever have any questions that I can't answer, uh, always reach out to him. He's awesome. So that's going to do it for this one. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for some more videos coming up in the future. Um, I might be doing some fun challenges with some of my friends pretty soon, so keep your eyes peeled. And until next time, go get some Prodigy and uh, get out and throw.